sharpness is much much superior than Zinchenko. Like I said, he can defend, he can attack. Is very good with the ball, tight spaces. He can drive into the midfield. He's just for me a midfielder that plays right back as good as right a, a traditional right back would do. So I would love Arsenal to get him. I saw the game against uh, Real Madrid. He was fantastic. He kept Vinicius Junior quiet. We all know Vinicius Junior is a tough cookie. He's a tough customer to deal with, and both at home anyway. Even Fred Snyder did a good job on Vinicius Jr. Not many defenders can actually keep the Vinicius Jr. quiet. So it shows the quality at a young age. So let's talk uh, our links to Ivan Fred Snyder, the, real the right back, sorry, from Real Valladolid in Spain. Before we go forward uh, about talking Ivan Fred Snyder, make sure you stick a like on the video. Very, very important, guys. Do not just watch. Make sure you stick a like to support the channel, please. I will appreciate that. And don't forget, if you like the content and like my channel, make sure you subscribe. Do not forget to turn on the show bell. So let's go into the details about Eva Franz Snyder. He's right back for Real Valladolid. Uh, let's not forget, during the January transfer window, Asna and Dortmund were keen on securing the signature. Unfortunately, Real Valladolid did not let that deal happen. So neither Dortmund and Asna could get it done. Now, the summer is here. Unfortunately, or fortunately, it depends on what you choose. Uh, Real Valladolid have been relegated from Spanish Division One. So now this is a perfect opportunity for either Dortmund or Arsenal to get this deal done. So I would love Arsenal to get this guy. I've seen him, I've watched him. I think he's a technically gifted right back. He can underlap and overlap. Very good on the ball, very neat on the ball, very technical. His ball security is fantastic. He's like a right side is Zinchenko. Joza, his defensive sharpness is much, much superior than Zinchenko. Like I said, he can defend, he can attack, he's very good with the ball, tight spaces, he can drive into the midfield. He's just, for me, a midfielder that plays right back as good as right, a, a traditional right back would do. So I would love Arsenal to get him. I saw the game against uh, Real Madrid. He was fantastic. He kept Vinicius Junior quiet. We all know Vinicius Junior is a tough cookie, he's a tough customer to deal with, and both at home and away. Even Fred Snyder did a good job on Vinicius Jr. Not many defenders can actually keep Vinicius Jr. quiet. So it shows the quality at a young age this defender has. Now, uh, according to reports, even Fred Snyder release clause is now £20 million pounds follow, following Real Valladolid's rele relegation from La Liga. However, sources feel the player could still live for less than that figure this summer. Arsenal remains interested. So do uh, Borussia Dortmund. If we do not get this player right now, Dortmund will go ahead and get him. And in two years or three years, he'll be in England. The likes of Manchester City will go and pay 50 to 60 million pounds to Dortmund and get him or Liverpool or Manchester United. We cannot miss this rare opportunity. It's a fantastic right back. The only reason I will not get to feisty or leave it with us now if you get a better right back at the moment. Ben White is not a traditional right back. He has done a fantastic job as right back, but we need a right back. We need a right back. So Ben White can alternate with him sometimes and Ben White can alternate with Saliba as a central defender. We need to sign this kid. This kid is fantastic. It's not about his age. He is good enough. Don't tell me because Real Valladolid got relegated from La Liga. That means it's not good enough. It's like saying Robertson that, that signed for Liverpool got relegated the previous year with Hall City. But yeah, Liverpool went and signed him. We can, we can say how that you can say that uh, Robinson is one of the top left backs in the world. What do uh, Jenny were now done? Liverpool signed him after Newcastle got relegated from Premier League. So signing a player from uh, a regulation team doesn't mean the player is terrible. Sometimes the team might not be as good as the player himself. You cannot do it individually. Ramsdale, we sign him from a relegated team. So I don't understand some, some of the fans thinking, oh, signing players from a relegated team doesn't mean players are not good. Come on, you can separate collective effort from individual effort. For me, even Franz Snyder is a more sign unless we have a better candidate who will sign. We can't allow Dortmund to get this deal over the line. As not the finances, as not a richer club than, than Dortmund, as not playing English Premier League, English Premier League, many players want to play here. Let's get this player signed up as quick as possible. Like I say, his release clause is less than 20 million pounds. So what is Arsenal waiting for? Edu, Ateta, you guys were keen on him throughout the January window. What changed? 
What has changed? This is time for us to consolidate and bring in top quality players. Look at the attribute. Very neat on the ball. Is a good defender. Has pace. Can defend one on one. Can cut into the midfield. Very good on the ball in tight spaces. Doing pressure. What I love about him is that he is very very comfortable with the ball on both feet in tight spaces. In tight spaces, just like he's like a right sided Zinchenko that is more defensive and he can do his offensive duties as great or as good as his defensive duties. So we as Arsenal fans or the Arsenal hierarchy get this deal done as quick as possible. Don't see Dortmund are a smart team. They know this player will be uh, an asset in the next two or three years. So they will get him, develop him, and sell him for exorbitant prices. And we know at that time, Arsenal will be priced out of trying to buy this, this, this quality of player. Let us get this done as soon as possible. What do you think? What, so what am I saying? What do you guys think about this player? Have, have some of you seen the clips? I know clips doesn't give you the full context or the full ability of this player. But trust me, I've watched him a few times. This guy is top quality. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.